what's up guys Graham here sorry for the lack of videos last week I know I missed out on the Saturday video and a lot of you were wondering who won the giveaway well we're going to announce the giveaway winners in this video and the winner is right up there congratulations we'll get a hold of you just shortly to see what you would like from the rift store and this week's giveaway is the same thing which everybody is seeming to love it is anything you want from the rift store that is 5,000 credits or less we don't want to go too crazy and go above the 5,000 credit mark so anything that you want from the rift store as long as it's 5,000 credits or less and it is giftable so if you'd like to take part in this giveaway all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below this video and leave your character name and server so we know exactly who to contact in order to give the prize to the winner and make sure that you hit the like button and make sure you are subscribed if you are not subscribed we'll have to pick another winner unfortunately so make sure you hit that subscribe button and take part in this giveaway and good luck everyone so the winner of the giveaway this time will be announced in the next Saturday video so make sure that you're paying attention to that video so you can see if you won and contact us if we don't contact you kind of thing I have to say thank you for all the support you guys are giving me you guys are always subscribing to the channels you're passing around my channel to each other and I'm growing so fast you know one day I may be the biggest rift channel on YouTube who knows but you guys are just awesome and it's definitely looking like a possibility with the amount of support that you guys are giving me so thank you so much and one of the things that really makes it stick out in my mind is that people are using my referral link in the description below the one the where you click it and you create a rift account and then as you play rift and uh, subscribe and all that stuff to rift it gives uh, rewards to both of us so I get like points for referring you guys and you guys get extra rewards such as uh, extra backpack uh, like some vials and some other stuff to help you experience up faster and both sides are getting benefits and look what I got with my points I got an ember steed this thing is freaking awesome man I mean look at this thing it is absolutely amazing I love this mount thank you guys for using my link and I hope you continue to use it and get rewards as well as well as help out the Grim Meister and getting a new mount every here and there it's awesome thank you Today we're going to go over a new physician build that is performing a little bit better than the last one I posted. Also, the last one I posted is a little bit outdated. There's been a lot of changes to physician since then. So I want to give you guys an updated version and I hope you guys enjoy it. Hopefully the storming outside doesn't cause too much of an audio problem. So let's get right into this build though. So we'll go into the soul tree here. As you can see, it's 58 physician, 8 bard, and 10 rift stalker. Now you put all the points into physician except for you do not put any points into bloodletting. All right, the 8 points that are in bard is 5 into good health, and 2 into street performer, 1 into stage presence. The 10 in Rift Stalker is 5 points into Unseen Fury and 5 points into Great Fortitude. Alright, so there is the build. If you guys need to see like a build of the Soul Tree on a webpage or something, I'll have a link in the description below. And also there will be uh, all the macros and stuff in the description below as well. So be sure to reference down there. All right, the buffs that we're going to be using is preventative medication, simultaneous treatment, plane bound resilience, fanfare of vigor, and of course any build, uh, guild or planar buffs that you want to use. All right, the buttons that I have here are, well, let's go into the macros first. What am I doing? All right, macros. 
All right, the first macro we're going to be using, and I must put a disclaimer on this stuff that these macros and everything are great for the, for you to use. However, there are a lot of things that people wish to separate off of macros. So as you get more advanced with this build, you may want to take, for instance, the first ability here, Mass Detox. I've got in the spam macro because you want to be cleansing people as much as possible. However, a lot of people like to separate that onto a separate button so that they could micromanage it. And as you get more experience with these builds, that may be what you want to do as well. But for right now, I'm putting in a macro because it does work well in a macro as well. And it makes it easy for people just learning a build to use it and not have to micromanage it and just get flustered with, uh, you know, a bunch of buttons all separated. So here is the first macro. And like I said, I will have all the macros in the description below, so make sure to check out down there. Uh, don't worry about putting anything after uh, casual I mean, active treatment here, because all this is uh, planar abilities and stuff that I like to throw into my spam macros, but you guys don't have to, you know, unless you have them in your planar abilities. Um, you will notice a difference in this build than the last one in that I actually have causal treatment in my uh, macro. That's because it's very strong and with all the nerfs and stuff that's been happening to physician, causal treatment is still sticking out as a pretty good ability. I didn't like that it has a cast time and that people can interrupt you. That's not something that is appealing to me especially whenever somebody's life is on the line and you're casting a cast time ability and then you get interrupted and they die so i didn't like that but it's just a good ability and uh it seems like most are willing to deal with the interruptions and the debilitates that happen from it so i'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the macros and let you guys use it like most other people are using it so the second ability here which is going to be your finisher i have thrown in adrenaline shot into this you do not have to you can put it on a separate button uh like i said as you get more experienced with this build you may wish to have adrenaline shot on a separate button but adrenaline shot basically gives you back 50 energy so if somebody is draining your energy like a dom or something then you can pop that off i put in the macro because I want my energy to keep going up as much as it can so I put it on one of my macros but like I said separate it if you need to though all right this is an AOE heal and as you can see I put adrenaline shot into this so this will be a finisher for AOE healing all right and the next one we have is our panic button. This is the one that uh, casts emergency response and biofeedback. Emergency response uh, heals the target for 100% of your health. So it's a huge heal that you'll throw onto somebody. Biofeedback is also a massive heal. So, you know, just hit them on anybody that's going to be going down just shortly. And you need to get them back to full life ASAP. All right, and then we have another macro here that works really well together. Basically, precise diagnosis gives you five combo points. Well, massive therapy is a big uh, finisher. So what happens is that you, as soon as you use your finisher from your normal finisher, the uh, uh, maintenance therapy, well, then you don't have any combo points and you see somebody else needs healed real fast. You hit this macro and it will instantly give you five combo points and bam, throw a big heal on that person and probably save their life. So that's our macros right there. And what I have on buttons, I have the builder macro, which uh, I showed you at first. I have mass detox showing for that one. Um, then I have the finisher macro. Then I have the precise diagnosis, the one that I was just going over that gives you the five combo points and then we have it in the macro to cast the big heal afterwards. 
Then I have a single target heal here. I'm um, at cleanse. This allows you to cleanse people as they're getting dotted up and all of that good stuff. So that's a big part of your job too, is to make sure that people aren't uh, debuffed and dotted up and you need to cleanse them quite often. That's another reason why we have the mass detox in our builder that, or yeah, I think it's in our builder that way that we can cleanse people as much as possible with that as well. Supportive care is very, very important. You want to throw this onto like a weaker DPS or another healer. Basically what it does is it makes it to where whenever you're casting your abilities, it's going to be putting a shield onto that person that you have supportive care onto. So putting on another healer is a very good thing because you want to keep your other healers up because they're going to keep everybody else up. All right, then we have our panic macro, the one that casts 100% health onto somebody or biofeedback whenever you hit it a second time. And biofeedback is amazing because even though it's a cast time ability, you can move while you're casting it. It, it dang near makes the person immortal that you're uh, casting it on. And then we have an AOE attack here. This is for those uh, pesky stealthers or whatever else that's in the area. I like to have an AOE attack. That way they can't just sit around me in, in stealth and I can't do anything about it. All right, then we have Shadow Shift, which uh, teleports you 15 meters forward. That allows you to get away some because... You want to be able to survive, and you're going to be the main target of most of the enemies. They're going to be trying to kill you. I have Surgical Strike on this uh, on this button, but do not ever use Surgical Strike, except whenever you're interrupting somebody that's capping a flag or something like that. You should not be doing DPS if you're playing this build. If you are trying to DPS people, then you are doing it wrong. Uh, your job is to heal and to heal only. If you uh, if you're running around trying to DPS people, don't don't do it. Don't. But if you're the type of person that doesn't put any attacks on your bars, being a healer, then you are also doing it wrong because you want an instant attack such as surgical strike on your bar. That way, if somebody is capping a flag, at least you can interrupt them. You know, you don't want them to sit there and cap it right in front of your face, and you can't do anything about it. All right, then we have Kiss of Life on another button. And this uh, brings back somebody back to life and restores 50% health and mana. And it is a battle res, so you can use it while in combat. And then we have our AoE heal here. This is our uh, finisher for AoE. So if you're in some kind of other situation, then you might want to throw an AoE heal down if nobody's really needing uh, hardcore single target heals. All right, let's get into how to play this build now. Basically, what you're going to want to do is throw your supportive care onto somebody. That should be one of your top priorities is to make sure that you have supportive care on a healer or a weak DPS or even a strong DPS, I guess, if you feel like they're really making a big difference on your team and you want to make sure that there's no way they're going to go down kind of thing. So... Throw your supportive care onto somebody, and it won't let me throw it on the dummies, so I can't really do it here, but you want to throw your supportive care, and then what you want to do is start spamming your heals, and this will be your builder macro here. As you can see, it spams causal treatment, and I usually go up to five combo points, but some people like to stop at four combo points since causal treatment provides two each time. So it's real easy just to go 2-2 two, two, finisher, 2-2 two, two, finisher kind of thing. But a lot of times I go up to 5, so cast your builder until you hit 5 combo points, as you see I have there. And then you can hit your finisher, and it's going to throw a big heal, as you can see. Well, that's basically your rotation. That's all you have to do for the most part until other circumstances starts happening. Uh, take for example, if you're healing somebody and you see that somebody else off to the side is taking a lot of damage, you can switch over to that other target and hit your third macro here, which casts precise diagnosis and then a big heal. So I'm going to pop it once. It's going to give me five combo points. Hit it a second time. It's going to throw a huge heal, as you can see. 
So that's going to be a big lifesaver right there for a lot of your team members or yourself if you end up targeting yourself with it. Okay. Say that somebody is about to die and you need to heal them ASAP and it's going to be just not enough to use your builder or finisher and your pre uh, precise diagnosis is down. As you can see I have it to where it shows precise so I know whenever it's used up and it's on cooldown and I can't use it again for the moment. Well you want to be able to target somebody and then cast emergency response. This is going to be a huge, huge heal onto somebody. So you hit it and bam, as you can see, it healed for a massive amount of health right there. Well, say that there's a second person. Well, you can cast your biofeedback with the same button and you can move while casting biofeedback too see the massive amount of healing that it's doing biofeedback is absolutely amazing but you got to watch out it is cast time it can be interrupted and a lot of interrupts that people have also debilitate you so it basically silences you so be careful of that but really that's just going to be an awesome ability for you okay let's see what else we have of course our aoe attack there that i was talking about and basically that's going to aoe a whole area so that you can get any of those pesky stealthers out and then we have our shadow shift if you're getting in trouble say you're uh, people are coming at you from this direction you turn around and Bam, 20 meters away, you just teleport it and you're way away from them. And you can possibly mount up and get away uh, if it's that kind of situation. Don't abandon your team if they need your heals, though. Uh, I have break free on a separate button. Make sure that you always keep break free on a separate button. Don't put in the macros, guys. A lot of people do. And every build that I make, I always stress, do not put break free in a macro because take for some uh, instance somebody snares you okay well you're moving a little bit slower that's not a big deal for you as a healer you're mostly staying put anyway to cast your causal treatment and stuff well if you got break free in your macro it's gonna it's gonna use it on that snare whenever you didn't even need to use it and then all of a sudden people are running up and stunning you and everything and you're not able to heal yourself and you don't have a break free to you know get out of it so you can start healing yourself so yeah don't don't put break free into macros guys don't do it um of course surgical strike if you need to interrupt somebody you know you just run up and target somebody and bam you hit the button it's an instant cast so you can just interrupt them and you don't have to worry about it too much all right and make sure that you are using your kiss of life if if another healer goes down or something like that then you need to be bringing them back to life uh especially in like a cq match or something like that if you're doing any kind of healing there uh you can bring up a uh, bad dps and stuff but a lot of healers kind of save their b reses for whenever a strong person goes down or a healer because if you resurrect a weak dps a lot of times it's a bad move because they're going to do bad dps anyway and probably just going to re-die and you know it's all a judgment call you have to be a good healer and you have to make those judgment calls all right um and of course our aoe heal you know if you're healing up somebody and nobody on your team is taking a massive amount of damage and you want to uh, do an AOE heal to top everybody off. All you have to do is hit it and bam, everybody gets AOE healed. So that's basically this build. It's really easy to uh, play. You're basically just builder and finisher. And then you've got other things to do if uh, bad situations arise. But, you know, really it's just about a uh, builder and finisher and cleansing, you know, just cleanse your guys every here and there. You know, if you've got, uh, take for instance, the, uh, gadget raid frames, they have it to where your allies will, their health bar will turn a purple color or something like that. If they need to be cleansed, well, then you can just target them and use your detoxification. If you're, uh, if your mass detox is, used up in your spam macro 
So that's basically it guys. Supportive care, builder finisher, and then keep everybody cleansed. And then you got all of those panic buttons. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and you are going to absolutely love it as soon as you play it because, I mean, look at my health. It's like at 40,000 right now. And you guys are probably going to be able to top that even more. Just enjoy it. Trust me, Physician is just going to be awesome. If you do not have the Physician Soul, you are definitely missing out because the healing on it is easy to do. It's fun. It is powerful. It is just all around good. So make sure that you're getting the Dream Soul Bundle and getting all the souls because you are going to love it. Trust me. Well, as usual, guys, my name is Grim, and if you're looking for a place to call home for a guild, then we have our guild Grim's Reapers on Wolfsbane server, and you can be any faction, Guardian, Defiant, doesn't matter, you can join up. We are a casual PvP guild, and uh, yeah, I'm not on all the time, so if... All of a sudden, Grim isn't online for three, four days. Don't panic and think that you're going to leave the guild because I'm not on. I warned you beforehand, I do not get to play every single day. So, uh, yeah, join us if you'd like. Also, if you are thinking about joining Rift, make sure you use my referral link in the description below. Uh, you get rewards. I get rewards. Everybody's happy. You get a extra backpack and some uh, vials to help you experience faster. Also, if you are super generous, there is a donation link in the description below. Go ahead and throw me a 50 cent donation or whatever you want. I really appreciate any support you guys do. But as usual, my name is Grim. I will see you next time.